Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Gaz. I am Office Bloke Aiden. Here we are, Sports Edition. If sports is for you, leave us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Sports. Helps us grow and we do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, George Kittle. Lovely guy. <laughs> he's a great guy, isn't he? Yeah. We've been watching him on um, on the receiver. Yeah, and, uh, Check just, it out on our Patreon down below. Cheers, yeah, guys. He, just, he just lives life to the full, doesn't he? He's just loving life. Mm. Just very happy, all-around guy. Nice family man. Uh, just seems a decent guy. This yeah, is because uh, he plays tight end as well. And he says that's the... Uh, most fun position to play in, in football. I just hear him what he talk, when he's talking to the other players, the way he talks to his teammates, the way he's having fun, just living life. But this is uh, George Kittle and how players get paid in the NFL. So a bit of Theo Bon as well. It's, it's always something football. you wonder about. It's one of the only professions where you get to beat the shit out of someone and not get arrested for it. Yeah. <laughs> There's not very many other sports, right? <laughs> what, apart from like and UFC? So it's really fun for me and like... Just turn it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's my bad. It's from the last video, isn't it? Well, it's like, you, I mean, you can go into things like UFC, boxing, you know, boxing or, uh, I think that's a little bit different. Memphis, maybe, I think you can do it these days, but yeah, Memphis. I don't think it's like as sanctioned. Yeah, yeah probably not, yeah. you know, it's frowned upon. Yeah, 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 it's frowned, yeah upon. frowned upon. But like in the NFL, so like, I just get to go out there and I get to hit people, I get to have fun. I mean, I'm playing a kid's game, dude, and getting paid a lot of money to do it. So like, I'm going to work my tail off, but I'm going to enjoy it every second that I'm out there. Because you only get so many reps, there's only so much tread on the tire. And you got Tom Brady who can play for 20 years, maybe 21. Well, and then like you know but the average you know lifespan is like three years so i'm going to year seven i'm doing pretty well for myself so it's like it's hey, i'm gonna play as long years. as i can i'm gonna play at a high level as long as i can but i'm gonna have a great time every time i'm out there it's a bigger business now than it was yeah. 20 years ago oh yeah i mean there's significantly more money in it i mean you just saw like two quarterbacks just got paid over 100 million dollars with like 70 million dollars the one guy got guaranteed like 83 million dollars that's more than my entire contract wow that's wild that's why I mean, it was hey, Daniel Jones, right? Yeah, good for him. Happy for him. I, yeah. lo I love it when guys in the NFL get paid because it's really hard to get paid. Wow. And so once, like, I love everybody getting paid. I do not care who they is. If I think they're a good player, if I think they're a bad player, awesome. You got paid. Good. For, you're set for life. Like, just don't squander it, please. What do you mean when you say it's hard for guys to get paid? Well, like, you have to. The NFL is full of like every NFL player. College, so you have high school, which is like you have hundreds of thousands of kids playing high school, right? And you just okay. think about like the number. You have millions of kids playing high school ball. You have hundreds of thousands of people playing uh, college football. There's 1,500 NFL players. Like, just like the percentage just is so small. Is that it? 1,500? That does seem like oh, quite that... a lot. Seems. How many teams are they? 32? 32, and they've all got like 50 odd players, 60 players maybe. Mm. But then you've got squad players, I guess, so that they don't get paid as much as what you're going to get paid. And yeah. you're, uh, that's not. Doesn't seem a lot. To be people, fair, though, I mean, at the end of the day, because there's no other leagues. Really? Not really. I mean, no. I know there is, but there's yeah. no. You don't. No one really watches them. No, not like the NFL. So like, there's only really fifteen hundred like professional football players, if mm. you want to say it like that. Then goes to show how elite these guys are, right? Yeah. Hey, or how elite they must be. Yeah. Oh, then when you get there, like every team has all Americans in college, Heisman Trophy winners, and it's just like you have to figure out what you do better than everybody else and how to do like how to do that for as long as you can. And that's like kind of what the NFL is like. Surviving the NFL is really hard. Like, there's fantastic players and athletes out there that should be in the NFL and aren't, right? Like, that happens all the time. It's like a lot of guys don't take advantage of that opportunity, so it's hard to get paid. You have to have a right, you have to take advantage of that opportunity when it's in front of you. Are there any players that come to mind where you're like, man, that player, it just it didn't pan out, or they got, or there was an injury that happened, or? One of my favorite football players of all time was Bob Sanders. He's a safety for the Indianapolis Colts. He played for Iowa, uh, he won defensive MVP one year. But like he just had an assortment of injuries and he would have been in my he was a first ballot hall of famer and then he just had all these injuries that he couldn't stay healthy and then he played in the pros oh yeah he was with the yeah, D, like nfl mvp for defense like look at tour no i know right it's not looking good for him it's not it? looking great for tour is it you know he's, he's, he's the old questions about whether he's uh whether he's done now because he's got his uh his, his third concussion yeah however can you really sure carry on after that like, uh, don't know so what uh, that raiders coach said is like you're gonna like you're gonna you call it your, your football career only lasts what like how long but your life is like gonna last yeah, your life yeah. almost that kind of worded that bit of shit but yeah no, you, you mean, know what i mean yeah your career is your career is short than it's, yeah you your career is significantly your shorter than your life mm. yeah amazing football player as a safety which is really hard to do these days and he was incredible and uh yeah he had like a back injury he had leg injuries shoulder injuries because he hit people so hard and he'd be hurt and it's just like instead of being a first ballot hall of famer like he'll always be remembered as a really good football player but like injury kind of took that away from him and so he could have gotten paid a lot more money too probably uh, that's what's hard it's like you have to stay healthy you have to be in the right situation you have to make a lot of plays and you have to get into those like what are the, what are the years you kind of get paid on what are some of those levels it's like uh after most of the time is like i got paid after year three okay i was on a four-year rookie deal most of the extensions happen after three years mm -hmm. 
Um, or you can, after year four, you're a free agent is what you're seeing now. Like that's where the real money is. Cause like everyone's bidding on you mm -hmm. and that's where the good stuff is. Um, but yeah, most guys get paid after three. If you're a first round draft pick, like teams have a fifth year right to you. And so those a first round draft pick might not get paid till after year four. Um, but they already got a, you know, first round signing bonus. So like they're doing well for themselves. I see. Football is really hard if you don't love it. Like mm -hmm. it's really, cause like what you put your body through, what you put like the stress levels through, like we put our, like, I know every, like our professions, like when you're out there, you know, for like to perform and like, that's how like people watch you and stuff like that. It's like, there's a stress that comes out because you could make one bad play. And like, that's the only thing everybody on Twitter is yelling at you for yeah. and telling you that you're a piece of shit. And so like, there's a, there's a mental stress to it. There's a physical stress to it. Time away from your family. Is that one you always see like a clip where I think it's the pictures of George Costanza from Seinfeld. He sat there like with a big bag of crisps, big sort of like chubby guy, sort of like leaning back watching sport, and watching the best athletes in the world do one mistake and then go pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Top of ice cream, a massive, yeah, yeah. top of ice cream, something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly right what he does. Yeah. And you've got to respect athletes and sports people at all levels when you're watching them. I, I mean, I don't. So. If they're playing against us, I never do. <laughs> you know, I shout all kinds of shite of abuse. You know, whatever I can. But that's what you do. That's what they're there for. <laughs> you know. Family, like I just said, like I, I my Nashville's my home. I haven't. This is my f second day back since July twenty fourth. That's so wow. Do you don't think there are it. players that would yeah, rather get the ball it's more than win the game? There are certain players that, like, you have to have the mindset. I'm guessing he. I'm guessing he lives in San Francisco. No, he said yeah. I live in Nashville. I've not been here. You uh, said Nashville's my home. Yeah, Nashville's his home. Yeah. yeah. So, but you wouldn't be. You wouldn't oh, be listen, living in Nashville. No, no, no. Won't be, won't be I mean, yeah. I guess how many, how many games do you play? I mean, I guess you've got to go to practice every, every day. week. Yeah, yeah. That when like when you get the ball, like the more like. You have to have a mindset like I when I get want the, the ball, dude. It looks fucking scary. Oh, dude, it's <laughs> not for everybody. Steal ball. And it is what it is. Threw me the ball, dude. I throw it back. Yeah, not me. He's the only one off the knot more than him. I know. He's a proper officer as well. Funny guy. Not me. Yeah, yeah. No, not me. Dude, I do a timeout. Yeah, I feel like you just toss a lot of bounds. Like, no, I slip, coach. My bad. Just drop it. I'm good. There might be some guys that are like more like stat hungry, maybe, but they're not on our team. I've never really been with a guy that was like that, which has been awesome. Um, but like, and there's there's guys who have contracts where like, hey, if I get 40 catches this season, I get a bonus. Right. Like we had a guy who, um, we had a guy who he, he was a backup, right? But he re-signed because his rookie deal was over and he had an incentive in there that was, if he got over, he had to break his receiving yards from last year and he only had like 150 receiving yards, but he doesn't play a lot on offense. He's, uh. he's a special teams guy. And, and by like week five, he broke it. And it was amazing because he got he got like a multiple hundred thousand dollar bonus because of it. And so like yeah, like there is a selfishness to it because who doesn't want to get paid an extra two hundred fifty thousand right. dollars or something like that, whatever it was. I'm not entirely sure, but like that's awesome. Like good for you. And like I'm encouraging like, hey, Jimmy, throw him the ball. Brock, toss like the tray, yeah. throw that guy the ball. So it's just like that's pretty fun. Like so like when it is like so there's. There's selflessness, but there's also a selfishness to it to an extent. Right. But I'm lucky to be on a part of a team that, hey, like Debo's a superstar. He's fantastic, and he had a game where he had like 20, he had 20 receiving yards and 20 rushing yards. We won by two touchdowns. He's like, I don't care. He's like, we're winning. I have another opportunity. Like we have another opportunity to play next week. Like it is what it is. And then he goes, and I'll be ready when I get my opportunity. I'll be ready for it. Yeah. And then you like we had a playoff game. He had a 74 yard touchdown. He had like 120 yards receiving, a touchdown player of the game it's just like we have those guys capable on our team but we have six of those guys or seven of those guys that are capable and then it's just it's fun to be a part of a team like that i don't get the ball every play and like i don't want the ball every play i like i like getting the ball it's fun to catch the ball it's fun to run like you like running with a football in open space and not getting hit is one of the coolest things you can possibly do as a human being yeah what did you feel like just driving real fast dude like, I have a smile on my face. I'm just like, what? this is like it because it doesn't happen very often. It's hard to get that open in the NFL because yeah. everyone. It's like that. It's just like the blur of like a massive stadium yeah. around you, and you're, the you're noise. see loads of people staring yeah. at you. Yeah, it's the noise as well. It's, mad, it's almost yeah. like that. I, know, uh, I guess it's probably similar. to I reckon it cancels out as well. If you're here talking about on noise, I reckon you can only hear what's inside your own head. Is that as well? Yeah, but it's, I mean, imagine the buzz of sort of like doing that. What they do, and it's, it's all like um, that's probably why they get dancing every time they get into the end I was zone. watching. I, I think. People who have played football, I don't know if anyone's played at any sort of like senior level. When I say senior level, I'm talking NFL, who might watch our channel, probably not. I reckon if right. you go to like a D1 college football, that's, that's the high I imagine if you go out, you know what, you're going out to Penn State, like we're going to go to Penn State's right. uh, game, the whiteout game. The noise, imagine if you were like a freshman coming out to play. 
as and the you're opposite, really on the opposite team. team no, even on, on your on your team, and they're all yelling and they're no, all cheering but I for you. I don't reckon you're that's making. I reckon that's firing you up. That's what I'm saying. It would be firing you up. You'd be buzzing off it. But if it's the other team, then it's like oh, a bit intimidating. Yeah, massively. Yeah. yeah, such good athletes. But when you're just running through the space. Man, it Does is. I feel like it's illegal or yes. something. Yes, like I feel like I'm a kid who just like I just stole <laughs> something. I'm just running as fast <laughs> yeah. as I can, and it's it's such a it's such a thrilling feeling. Wide receiver, think about that for a sec. Why do you just play tight end, dude? Well, less money. But I was like, I mean, you could have probably played another couple years. Why do y'all get less money? I don't know. <laughs> Let's figure that out. You, I'll call in, and you're gonna figure it out. You're doing. That's not the whole situation with the running backs, isn't it? Yeah, we they get paid the least. Yeah. yeah, more. Thank you, Travis Kelsey. This guy, 1,300 yards, 10, 10 touchdowns a year for like the last seven years, basically. But he gets more balls thrown over than you. Sure, but all, my, my point is is that if he was a wide receiver, his contract, he'd be the 26th highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. Does that make sense? No. No, he should probably be top five. So that's like, I don't know. He should probably be making, if like there's wide receivers out there making over $25 million that don't get his stats. So like, why would he not get paid more? Yeah. Right? I mean, like, I was, I think I was third in the NFL in touchdowns this year. And, yeah, I mean, there's 20 receivers that make more money than me. That's and unfair. Nothing, and, and, no, yeah, and, like, I'm happy for them. I'm, I'm happy right, for right, them that they're making their money. Them. No, it's nothing against them. It's just, like, that's the tight end market. Like, our franchise tag is, like, $10 million, which is, like, if a team that. doesn't, like, mm. um, Evan Ingram tied in for the Jacksonville oh, Jaguars. Yeah. He was franchise tag, which means, like, they don't want to do a new deal yet, but they're going to give you a one-year deal, and it's based on the average of, like, the top couple – contracts of your position so like his was 10 million dollars and then the quarterback franchise tag is 30 million dollars for that one season and i get the quarterback is the most right that's the most important position but like wide receiver franchise tag is i want to say like 20 something but it's like are they really double the value no i don't think so especially yeah i don't think no i don't especially think so now when you're getting all these hybrid you have like Taysom hill you have a hybrid player that could possibly do it all yeah sure like and like no now the thing when you get an you you have to be great at all those things for it to be a value of you in a contract negotiation right. too. Right, that's a good point. Yeah, so you have to be great. Like, if you and if you can just if you can just do several things, but you do them averagely. I'd rather have like a guy that does this great and a guy that does this great than having a guy that does them both average. Interesting take that because that's that's, yeah. that's that's I'm really interested in that. What you've got to say, I'm gonna have to listen to the whole podcast with that because I, I do like Kittle as well. And, uh, and it seems that what the 49ers have got with their team, with Debo, with Kittle, with, Kel, uh, with not Kelsey, with um, uh, per, uh, Brock Purdy, people like that, they've got like a, a great sort of like setup. With Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, yeah. See him soon. Yeah. But they've got like, um, it just seems like they've got all the players that sort of like gel together really nicely. But I'm just, got, what I'm saying about Brock Purdy there, when did he come in? The, when did he come into the NFL? It was like three years ago. Three years ago, like was it? And he got, what, Mr. Irrelevant, last pick? Yeah. Right? But now he's a starter for one of the best teams in the league, and he's got he's saying that about the contract. Yeah, so is he still year. technically so he's still on a rookie contract? Rookie contract maybe, so he's probably yeah. only nowhere near what you someone. See the same know. same about like I know obviously it's changed. Like he would have a very good contract now, but like Justin Jefferson when he was yeah. like came in and he was like one of literally mm. as soon as he came he was like one of the best receivers, wasn't he? But yeah. he'd still be on that rookie contract. Yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's a mad wave when you look at how they do it, especially if he's saying there the average uh, play time or length of your career time is three years. It's mad, isn't it? Because when you think all the money that goes into like NFL, it's not, it's not filling. It's not cascading. I know they're still getting paid tremendously. I do, I do think it's right. I, do, I, do, I think it makes sense that some people get paid more than others, though, in positions. Oh, without a doubt. I think you've. I think you've got definitely got same same in any any well, sport. The quarterback has to get paid the most. Yeah, you same in any sport. You're going to see like uh, you're going to see plays in basketball and NBA or plays in, in hockey. You know, you're going to see plays in. in I'm not sure football. about NBA. I feel like they're all probably a bit similar. You're going to get certain positions that are going to certain players that are going to get more because they're a better player. They're a better oh, yeah, all-round no, player. Yeah, obviously. But he's saying there he's number three in the league for touchdowns but he's getting paid 25 receivers are getting paid more than him now if he's got more touchdowns and receivers why is he getting less money yeah but you can say that about Louis. like you could say like Ollie Watkins got 20 goals but then someone for United got less goals or someone for Arsenal got Probably. less goals and then, but he's, <laughs> yeah but then he's getting paid less do you know what I mean like, yeah. he could have a good season and then maybe next year it'll change I don't mm. know I do like Kittle though he's, he's living life isn't he he's loving life yeah yeah it's good that. I enjoyed that because I like the other one as well yeah. two good uh Two good uh, people chatting there. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.